We've reached the ninth instruction from the workbook of A Course in Miracles. Number nine is, what is the second coming? And these instructions run throughout part two of the workbook. There are 14 of them in all. And they cover 10 lessons each. So instruction number nine covers lessons 301 through 310 and should be practiced daily with your lesson. What is the second coming? Christ's second coming which is as sure as God, is merely the correction of mistakes and the return of sanity. It is a part of the condition that restores the never lost and reestablishes what is forever and forever true. It is the invitation to God's word to take illusion's place, the willingness to let forgiveness rest upon all things without exception and without reserve. It is the all-inclusive nature of Christ's second coming that permits it to embrace the world and hold you safe within its gentle advent, which encompasses all living things with you. There is no end to the release the second coming brings as God's creation must be limitless. Forgiveness lights the second coming's way because it shines on everything as one and thus is oneness recognized at last. The second coming ends the lessons that the Holy Spirit teaches making way for the last judgment in which learning ends in one last summary that will extend beyond itself and reaches up to God. The second coming is the time in which all minds are given to the hands of Christ to be returned to spirit in the name of true creation and the will of God. The second coming is the one event in time which time itself cannot affect. For everyone who ever came to die, or yet will come, or who is present now, is equally released from what he made. In this equality is Christ restored as one identity, in which the sons of God acknowledge that they all are one. And God the Father smiles upon his Son, his one creation, and his only joy. Pray that the second coming will be soon, but do not rest with that. It needs your eyes and ears and hands and feet. It needs your voice, and most of all, it needs your willingness. Let us rejoice that we can do God's will and join together in its holy light. Behold, the Son of God is one in us and we can reach our Father's love through Him. That's instruction number nine. What is the second coming? Practice it with lessons 301 through 310 and increase your experience of peace, love, and joy that the Course offers. If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook, go to amytorresasim.com and read Amy's blog. Namaste.